Thunder Bay Atacokan's new progressive conservative MPP is hoping for a seat at the cabinet table. Kevin Holland broke a 37-year election drought for the PCs in the riding and will head to Queen's Park this week for the swearing-in ceremony. Mitchell Ringo's reports. The longtime mayor of Conmey won in his first attempt at provincial politics and is now hoping to be chosen as a Ford government minister on Friday. Holland says it would be great to be sitting at the cabinet table to make sure the concerns and issues of Thunder Bay out of Coke and Riding and Northwestern Ontario in general are front and centre. I appreciate that Premier Ford has a difficult job. We have 83 um, members, so it's a, a large caucus that he has to choose from. But I'm hopeful, and uh, whatever Premier Ford decides to do, I'll respect and, and still continue to do the best job for the residents. Even if Holland is not selected for cabinet, he is hopeful that he might still be chosen for a parliamentary assistant position. He says he could add a great perspective to the role. What's working in southern Ontario necessarily, it can work in northern, northwestern Ontario. We just need to be applying it differently and making some adjustments so that the intended policy and legislation is actually working for all regions of the province. So I think that's what I could bring, is just the perspective for northwestern Ontario. On another note, Holland has been moving into Judith Monteith Farrell's old constituency office on George Street. He says it was an easy decision as there's still three months left on the lease and says it will serve as their temporary base of operations for the time being. Well, we just got the keys for here for Friday, so um, we're just getting settled so we can get up, uh, get our you know, computers up or get our phone and internet going so that we can start serving the, the constituents. Um, we'll look at the uh, possibility of other places or consider staying here. Uh, we haven't really made that decision yet. And Holland says he'll be heading back down to Queen's Park on Wednesday for training, sworn into caucus on Thursday, and then we'll hear if he makes it into the new cabinet on Friday. Mitchell Ringo's TBT News.